Hi everyone, a very nice algebra problem. So let's solve this. Here we have x, y belongs to our real numbers. x squared plus y squared equals 7. x cubed plus y cubed equals 10. x plus y is what? So we're going to let x plus y is equal to n. Let x plus y equals to n. And then as we have x squared plus y squared equals to 7, let me write it down x squared plus y squared equals 7 and as you know x squared plus y squared is x plus y the whole squared minus 2xy equals to 7 and as you know x plus y is equal to n we have let so let us substitute back n squared minus 2xy equals to 7. So from here, what are we going to have? Uh, n squared, let's take 7 this side. So we have n squared minus 7 is equal to 2xy. And then you have, just divide both sides by 2. So you have n squared minus 7 over 2 is equal to xy. Let this be equation 1. So we have got something here which is very important. Now we are going to solve further. As we have this equation x cubed plus y cubed equals to 10. We are going to solve for that. So now we are going to expand x cubed plus y cubed equals to 10. And as you know it's a plus b the whole cube and it's equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times a plus b and so we have to substitute in this so x cube plus y cube is equal to you have x plus y the whole cube minus you bring this term this side so 3xy into x plus y so this is how we get x cube plus y cube from this now as you know x plus y the whole cube is n x plus y is n so we need to substitute that n cube minus 3xy times x plus y is n which is equal to as given in the question 10. now what do we have we have n cube minus 3xy so let's bring 10 this side so we have n cube minus 10 is equal to 3nxy bringing this side now what do we have let's divide both sides by 3n 3n so what are we left with n cube minus 10 over 3n is equal to xy 3n 3n it's cancelled so let this be equation number two so as you have already seen what's equation one n square minus seven over two is equal to x y and here also we have x y is equal to n cube minus ten so over three n so we are going to substitute we are going to equate them from equation one and two we are going to equate them that is n square minus seven over two is equal to n cube minus 10 over 3n and now let's solve cross multiply so you have 3n cube minus 21n is equal to 2n cube minus 20 and now let's solve bring all the terms one side you have 3n cube minus 21n minus 2n cube plus 20 equals to 0 and now the next step we have n cube minus 21 n plus 20 equals to 0 if n is equal to 1 let's substitute 1 cube minus 21 times 1 is 21 plus 20 and that's equal to 0 that therefore n minus 1 is a factor it's a factor now let's see what do we have if n minus 1 is a factor what will be the other term so here 
you have n cube minus 21 n plus 20 so i'm going to write that n cube minus 21 n plus 20 equals to 0. so if you have n you're left with n squared and if this is minus 1 into n plus n and minus 1 into 20 minus 20 so you have n squared plus n minus 20 and now what will be the factors for this one use product some rule so you'll be getting n minus 1 into so you can use 5 times 4 plus 5 minus 4 and again the same thing 5 times 4 will give you negative 20 so we have n minus 1 n minus 4 and n plus 5 now what do we have we have three values for n as you already know we have x square plus y square is equal to 7 and x cube plus y cube is equal to 10 yes we already know this this is given in the question n is equal to 1 n is equal to 4 and n is equal to negative 5 i'm going to substitute one by one so we have x plus y is equal to all right then we're going to take next one x plus y is equal to negative 5 and x plus y is equal to 1 all right so what is y from this one y is equal to 4 minus x and let's substitute in that x square plus here plus y square is equal to 7 let's substitute in this we have x squared plus 4 minus x the whole square is equal to 7 now you can expand that that will be x square plus 16 plus x square minus 8x equals to 7 and therefore that will be 2x squared minus 8x plus 9 is equal to 0 and that's in the form of x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 so what is your discriminant delta that's equal to b square minus 4ac so if you substitute in that what do you get you have negative 8 the whole square negative 8 the whole square minus 4 into 2 into 9 and that's equal to negative 8 which is less than 0 so you don't have any solutions for this one no real roots let's find out for this one let's find out for this one x plus y equals to negative 5 so we have y from here we have y is equal to minus 5 minus x y is equal to minus 5 minus x so we're going to substitute back in this so you have x squared plus of minus 5 minus x the whole squared equals to 7 now let's expand so you have x squared plus 25 plus x squared plus 10x is equal to 7 now you can just solve for that 2x squared plus 10x 25 minus 7 is 18 plus 18 equals to 0 or you can simplify this x squared plus 5x plus 9 equals to 0 and what will be the discriminant discriminant is b square minus 4ac so let's solve 5 square 5 square 25 minus 4 into 1 into 9 and that's equal to negative 11 which is less than 0 so you again don't have the real roots no real roots for this one now x plus y equals to 1 let's see what is y equals to 1 minus x let's substitute back in this one so you have x squared plus 1 minus x the whole square equals to 7 
let's expand x square plus 1 plus x square minus 2x equals to 7. Now let's add them 2x squared minus 2x minus 6 equals to 0. Now you can just simplify x square minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Use the discriminant b square minus 4ac that's minus 1 the whole squared minus 4 into 1 into negative 3 and that is 1 plus 12 that's equal to 13 and 13 is greater than 0 that's greater than 0 so yes you have the real roots for x plus y equals to 1 so the solution for this question x squared plus y squared equals 7 and x cubed plus y cubed equals 10 and what is x plus y x plus y is equal to 1 and that's your answer thank you so much for joining thank you for watching and always supporting bye bye